All right, what's going on, YouTube? We in here for another one. I hope you're enjoying your day so far. So, Sledgehammer Games had their little Ask Me Anything, and there is some good stuff here. I just kind of memorized a few important parts. I didn't write anything down. I'll, I'll go and look around on Twitter and see if anybody kind of summarized it up into one post, and I'll just probably take a screenshot of that and put that in this video so you guys can have a look. I'm not looking at anything right now, but there is a couple of really good things in that ask me anything actually a couple of great things but i can't even lie it got me a little salty i might be feeling just a little bit pissed off let me get this out of the way real quick before we go ahead and get into this i appreciate what sledgehammer games is doing they're doing far more than we ever seen infinity war do in so many years sledgehammer games is actually out here they're listening i mean look at the core multiplayer that we got there's a lot of problems here with this game this game is unfinished it's incomplete rushed as hell there's a lot of problems here that don't fall on sledgehammer games but what they can control you feel like they're they're trying to do a little extra man they're putting like a part of me feels like none of this needs to be praised because we're giving them our money right we're paying full price for this game, for the base game, and there's a lot of people out here who pay hundreds or even thousands of extra dollars on that full price game throughout the year. A part of me feels like this doesn't deserve to be praised because it should just come with the territory. These devs should be out here trying to do the most with every single DLC, game, whatever it is. They should always be trying to go the extra mile for their customers. But because we've been so deprived, at the hands of greedy vision for so many years at this point i just i really appreciate what sledgehammer games is doing right and like i've said in videos already the multiplayer over here i like it it's got a lot of problems phony problems shit that will make you rage and pull your hair out absolutely but the core multiplayer when you're not getting hit with the bullshit it's actually fun the campaign is not worth your money I think the zombies over here sucks for solo players. That's not worth your money, in my opinion. The multiplayer is recycled as hell, but they got something here with it. There's just so much toxic bullshit surrounding the multiplayer, though. So I'm definitely not going to praise them for this, but I will let them know that I appreciate what they're doing. I appreciate the effort, at least. So they just dropped a little update with some fixes. They nerfed a few assault rifles and they buffed a few smgs now that's great right the smgs needed it you buff them all i think they're all in a bad state right now they all could use a buff why nerf the assault rifle so just bring the smgs up so they can compete with the assault rifles the time to kill in this game is very inconsistent man so it ends up feeling longer at times i'm actually cool with the time to kill over here if hit detection was spot on you're over here nerfing assault rifles, and if you watched my stream just the other day on my second channel, the death that I was eating from snipers in this game, aiming down sight faster than I could with an assault rifle already, aiming down sight faster than you can with an SMG, one shot killing you to the kneecap, to the shin, to the butt cheek, it didn't matter where they shoot. The only time they got a hit marker on me was when dude shot me in the pinky toe. He actually got a hit marker sniping me to the pinky toe. You know what? I think I'm not going to get into the snipers right now. I think we're going to have to make a commentary though about the snipers, man, because I feel like there's a couple of snipers in this game that are actually leaning more towards balance. I don't really have a problem with them. There is most definitely a couple of snipers in this game that are just, dude, they're crazy. And when you put those guns into a person's hands, that's around, say, a 2KD or 2.5KD or something like that, dude, it's over. You don't have a chance. It doesn't matter what gun you're using unless you're sniping too or you're hiding in corners or something with shotguns and you can surprise them. It does not matter, though. If you're red gunning it, these snipers are going to get you all the time with the left trigger, right trigger. But speaking of buffs, I really think, Sledgehammer, you need to take a look at some of these streaks. I've been getting the emergency airdrop lately. So I'm getting a chance to try a lot of different streaks that I normally wouldn't run. I've been calling in my VTOLs and that. And some of these streaks feel pretty weak. And I don't remember them saying anything about the streaks in that Ask Me Anything. All right, so let's break down the good that Sledgehammer Games confirmed yesterday. The Groot skin. They're going to be nerfing it 
and they're going to be removing it from the game until the nerf takes effect. This is a good thing. I wish I never went and picked up that battle pass now with the free cop points because I'm sick and tired of all these bitches abusing that shit. So I picked it up just so I can slap it on. If I'm going lobby after lobby with almost entire teams using the Groot skin, especially on maps like Wasteland and shit, I ended up picking it up just so I can flip the script and put that Groot skin on once in a blue moon. I regret getting the damn battle pass now with the free cop points man because they're actually nerfing it they're going to increase its visibility whatever else they're planning on doing to it they're nerfing the Groot skin great news they're also bringing back gun game gun game is a fun mode there's some people that absolutely love it there's people who only play gun game i like me some gun game man i'll just get in there and i'll mess around a little bit i don't know why they keep taking modes like this out of these games i don't know why they keep taking playlists out that people love but they do i always felt like infinity war did this because they never listened to the community they know they never listened to the community so this was something easy they could do to make it seem like they were listening to the community once a month or once every two months or whatever they'll give you the playlist back that you've been begging for for weeks or months or whatever it is i don't know why they take these modes away man people love them just leave them in the game have them there at launch also this is not really good news for me it might be for some of you though they're bringing back shipment to modern warfare deuce and a half i don't know which it's probably going to be the modern warfare deuce version of shipment the dark one with rain and you're on the boat but they're bringing back shipment so you can go over there get your camo grind on or whatever it is but enough of that little shit let's get into the two big things i've noticed they are going to be testing non-disbanding lobbies with a future update now, I think they're going to be doing it with some type of closed group initially, and then they might bring it over to the experimental playlist. Dude, we need to play the shit out of whatever playlist has non-disbanding lobbies. I don't care if it's a game mode you hate. I don't care if they bring non-disbanding lobbies and it's like only Hardpoint or some shit, and you hate Hardpoint. You need to play this mode. You need to show them this is what we want. This is what we need in call of duty it pisses me off they ever took this feature away in the first place man one of the best things about call of duty when we were growing up with it back in the og days the golden era of call of duty was staying in a lobby man if you just got your shit pushed in right if you just got your ass handed to you you can stay in that lobby everybody was talking some trash and you could get your revenge you build rivalries but you also build friendships when you can stay with just random people like that you're in the same game with somebody for say four or five games in a row and you guys both have a mic you start shooting the shit you start talking about so oh hey this dude is actually pretty cool or this chick is actually pretty cool whatever it is this person is cool as fuck so you guys add each other and then you start partying up because you like the same game you like the same game modes it fucking pisses me off that they ever took this away in the first place and we all know why they did it we know why Activision did it. They did it to keep the matchmaking on point. If a reverse booster gets in a lobby, oh, it's okay. He'll be out come next lobby because we're disbanding that joint. If a weaker player slips into a lobby that he shouldn't be in, well, it's cool. He'll, he'll get his shit pushed in for one game and then he's gone, right? They did it to keep the matchmaking on point. I feel like they're hearing us on this. And they're talking about reverting it back, getting non-disbanding lobbies back in Call of Duty because Activision, they're out the door soon. It's Microsoft, right? It might not mean as much to Microsoft as it does to Activision. I feel like that's probably why we're seeing this now because we've had disbanding lobbies since Modern Warfare 2019. Everybody's been complaining about it and they won't do shit about it until now. And we'll end this video with the last little piece of good news we heard from that Ask Me Anything Sledgehammer Games. It's talking about bringing back streak looping in Call of Duty multiplayer, a feature that should have never been removed. When did they bring it to Call of Duty? It was like, I, mean, I want to say Modern Warfare 3, I believe it was. Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 2, one of those two. I, I'm going to say Modern Warfare 3. It is a great feature. You should not have to kill yourself. If you're having a good game and you're popping off, man, you're putting in the work. You should not have to die to get your streaks again. A feature that should have never been taken away ever since it was introduced. Nobody complained about it, other than maybe the shitters. Nobody complained about streak looping. Anybody who's on a streak, you want you want to keep going until you can't go no more. It should have never been removed in the first place. They're talking about bringing it to the experimental playlist. So again, 
when streak looping comes to that experimental playlist play the fucking shit out of that experimental playlist and give them the positive feedback man we need to let them know this needs to be in call of duty we're not going to praise them for bringing back something they should have never taken away in the first place but we're going to show them that we need this in call of duty please do me the favor when these joints come to the experimental playlist or however they're going to do it show them what's up man show them we need non-disbanding lobbies back in call of duty we need streak looping back in Call of Duty. These features should have never left the game in the first place. That's all I got on this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you on that next one.